What's up, Black Cat Nation? Just finished season three of Sunderland Till I Die. <laughs> now, a bit disappointed when this first got announced that it was only going to be two or three episodes. It was three. Um, but what an absolute roller coaster of emotions it was. Uh, quite a few little recap snippets in the first episode. Um, also, some snippets of the, some of the Sunderland fan TV guys. You can catch Wee Philly on there, Terry, Jacob, um, all making little appearances in the first episode, which was great to see. Now, we knew what it was going to be about, so we knew it was going to be the playoffs and going up and stuff like that, so it's always going to be like a more positive um, series. But it was nice to see what I thought we wouldn't, which was a bit more of KLD. Now, it covers a bit of his story, his background with his dad and losing his father and his father's ties to Marseille. Um, and all about his family, and it just gives you a bit more, I don't know, human side to him. Um, and I, for one, am rooting for him at this club. I just hope he can surround himself in the right people and drive this club forward and really invest in the club and push for that Premier League team that we should be. So that was great, really great to see. I don't want to give all that many spoilers away in case anybody catches this before they watch it but yeah it was there was a lot of focus on gooch which i assume was before he left um as in it was all edited and ready to go before he left and the same with pritchard um you do see some great insights into both of them and it's sad to see really um Patrick Roberts and Jack Clark make quite an appearance on there, going feeding veterans, which is great to see. Um, I love seeing the human side of the footballers, that they're real people, that they're just like you and me, and they want to give something back, and they're grateful for the opportunities. It was very interesting on Ross Stewart as well, um, his career, where he, he went to sign from one club to another and... They offered a thousand pounds, but they wanted fifteen hundred, and his dad had to pay the five hundred extra just to get him released. And it wasn't long after that Sunderland came knocking. And it's interesting that he didn't have any of the stats when we came knocking. It wasn't like a prolific goal scorer in the Scottish leagues, um, but we obviously identified that talent and brought him in. And look what he did while he was with us. Shame injuries took him down, um, and obviously he moved on. We got a cracking fee for him. In that aspect, the model that they're using works. So I think I owe it to the club. I owe it to the current ownership to give them more of a chance and give them the benefit of the doubt. So I'm definitely going to be trying to, after watching this, if it's done nothing else, it's made me give them more time and be more open to um, what they're actually doing and what they are actually achieving at this club. But Fullwell 73, absolutely take a bow for this one. Um, my rating, I mean, I, I rate all the series, obviously, bad times um, through the last two seasons. Um, but yeah, 8 out of 10 for all of them. This one, only three episodes, but for me... 10 out of 10. Touched everything. Sad, happy, elated. I got goosebumps multiple times. Um, yeah, they ticks all the boxes. If you've not watched it, go and watch it now. It's very well worth sitting down, just binging all three episodes. It's like two hours of your life, just over, and it is worth every second. For a football fan, even if you're not a Sunderland fan, just for a football fan, it is worth the watch. So that's my summary. I will give this season 9 out of 10, the best that they've done so far. I hope there's more. I don't think there is on the schedule, but I really do hope there's more to see from this. So enjoy watching the club in this format, seeing behind the scenes, seeing all the little guys that take part. I want to see much more of it. Full World 73, definitely take a bow. Touching tributes at the end as well of the third season. So have your tissues ready. 
with that, I will say goodbye. And I will leave you with this. <laughs>